Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a series, Mac versus Windows. A little competition here. And guess who gets to decide who's the winner? You do. That's right. You're going to have a, get the chance to vote as to who you think the winner is for different features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video comparing one thing on Mac, one thing on Windows. Or showing how to do it on a Mac, how to do it on a Windows, or looking at a feature on Mac and looking at it on Windows. And I'm going to be using Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard, most recent version. And I'm also going to be doing Windows 7 which is the newest version of Windows and comparing the two. So I'll be comparing things like how to change icons, boot speed, things like that uh, to kind of give you a, a little bit of a feel. I'm going to try to do this very unbiased and in fact, who's the winner? You get to decide. You go to our website at askthetechies.com, click on the episode number that you watched and then click on the vote as to whether you thought Mac was the winner in this case or Windows is the winner in this case. Okay? So that's going to be an interesting thing to see what you all think in those votes. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you and hopefully this will be a video series that will help you to uh, see how to do things on either platform. That most of the time you can do things on Mac and on Windows, but sometimes it's a little bit different. So if you have to work with Windows and you don't know how to do something, this might be a great series for you to watch. Or if you work in Windows and you're thinking about getting a Mac and you wonder how much different it is, this might be a great series for you to watch. All right? First off, first video we're going to do in, is a video comparing how to, in fact, change your icons on a Mac and how to change your icons on Windows 7. On a Macintosh, here's how you would do it. You can basically go to any file that you've got. So here's a, a, a collection of uh, images and a folder that I've got. And these are the default icons. So let's say I don't like the pictures icon, the default that I'm getting right there for pictures folder. I can easily change that. And I'll show you how. First thing you want to do is like open an image that you've got. You can take any photo that you've got. You can copy it. This happens to be a small one, but I could take a full-sized image and I'll show you that in a second. And all you got to do is select all, copy it. So you're copying it to the clipboard. And you can quit out. Quit preview. And then you open the file you want. Like here's the pictures folder. And you do file, get info, or command I if you know the, sh the keyboard shortcut. It pulls up a window with all kinds of information. Now about this folder, I can do lots of stuff. I can change uh, some names, stuff like that, sharing permissions, lock it, that sort of thing. Uh, but in this case, all I got to do is click on it. You notice how it highlights a little bit there? I'll click off to the side so you can see the difference. See? And then I click up here. And all I have to do is go edit and paste. And now I've changed my pictures folder to something that makes a little more sense for me to where it's a, a flower picture. So it indicates that that is, that is a flower. And if ever I want to go back to the default, all I have to do is once again go to Get Info, click on the image, and then hit the Delete key on my keyboard. Boom! And it goes back to the default with this larger icon, uh, the, the one with the little camera on the folder. So you can do that with any image that you've got. I can go over here into my pictures folder and uh, take a, a bigger image. So let's uh, go ahead and open this one up, stained glass, and then I can go ahead and select it if I want and go ahead and crop out what I want for the icon and just say go zoop and select that and edit, copy, close out, and then go to my pictures folder and again just kind of edit, paste, and now I have this for the icon. So now I have this stained glass. Let me go back to my folder here. Did I have the right one selected? There we go. There we go. Took it a second for it to load, mainly because that was a really large picture. Right? It wasn't scaled down at all. So it took it a while to write that into that folder. But there we go. Now it's got that as the image. And that's the way that you can change the icon on any file, whether it's your hard drive. If you wanted to make a cute little, I don't know, Bart Simpson image to be on your hard drive because you're a big fan of the Simpsons, you can do that. Or if you're a fan like me of Star Trek, you can make it a Star Trek communicator. <laughs> okay? That's how you can change the icons on Mac. OS 10 Snow Leopard. Now in Windows, I can't just copy and paste any image uh, onto the clipboard and you know paste it into the icon thing. I have to first create an ICO icon file. Now Windows gives you no clear way to create a .ico file, but there is a workaround, and I'll show you how. If I go to my pictures folder and let's say I wanted to make this flower an icon, all I need to do is open it up with the paint program. This is a little trick. It's not clear. I have the open here. I can save it. Go save as. Choose BMP bitmap format. 
And then when you go to save it, you can name it flower, but name it flower.ico. Just make sure you use that file extension and that should turn it into an icon type of format. So let's go ahead and uh, save that in our sample, in, in our pictures library. Now we can close out of this. And I'll have one, this is the new one, or no, that's the PNG file. And this one is the ICO file, the icon file. So if I want to change an icon, what I would have to do is right click on the item, go to properties. However, I can't just click and paste. There's no way to right click and say insert. Down below, there's no button to say change icon. The only way to change the icon is to create an alias, and then it only creates an icon for the alias and not for the original, which I'll show you. Let's create a shortcut, and there's our shortcut. You can tell by the little arrow down on the corner. If I right click on that and choose properties, now I get a change icon button, and then I can change the icon to one of these system icons. But instead of using one of those system icons, I can click on browse, and I can try to find my icon file. It's showing the icon files, and that's the only one in my, uh, my pictures folder. But if I choose all files, then I see all my other pictures that were in there as well. But it will only work with an icon file, so you might as well just select icon files. So you choose this one, click open, and then you click OK. You see now it shows up in there. And then you click apply. Now that file has a flower icon. The original one does not have a flower icon. There's no way to change that one within Windows 7. Now you can change some things like the recycle bin. If you right click on it and choose on the desktop and choose personalize, and now it's a little different. You're going to go over here and click on Change Desktop Icons. Now here you can change the original ones. These do not have to be shortcuts. What you can do is choose something like the Recycle Bin Full, click on Change Icon, and again, just browse to my file, find the file I'm looking for, in my Pictures folder, there's the flower icon, click Open, click OK, and then it gives me that icon. And you see, as soon as I click Apply, it's going to change. Ah, da-da! And now when the recycle bin is full, it has a pretty flower icon. And if I find I don't like it, I can click Restore Default and click Apply, and it puts it right back the way it was. And this only affects your desktop icons. And so that's how you would do it in Windows. Which is easier? You get to decide. Go to AskTheTechies.com, go to Episode 118 on Changing Icons, and vote as to whether you think Windows was a little bit easier and, and more functional as far as changing the icons or whether you think the Mac was more functional in changing the icon. Which one do you prefer?